Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In today's episode, we are going to see some of the best email clients for iPhone and iPad. When it comes to productivity, email clients stands as the first set of applications to help you stay productive and to boost your productivity as well. So today we are going to see some of the free applications uh, that will help you to you know manage multiple emails with your iPhone in one application and of course there are some paid applications in the list uh, but they offer enough purchases and the choice is up to yours. If you need some extra features that it offers and if you find it attractive you may consider to purchase that and use it in your iPhone or iPad. Most of us try to use the stock mail application that comes with the iOS you know the built-in mail application mainly because it offers deeper integration with your iOS operating system and other applications that you use, making the mailing process a lot easier, both sending and receiving. The push notification also works perfect uh, with the iOS default mail app. The only thing is people get bored you know, after using it for a long time and they expect some new features, some better way to categorize and organize their emails that they receive other than the deep integration that it offers. So in that case, uh, you know, where we need to go for some third party applications which will offer some nice UI enhancements and new design a refreshing design and you can keep on changing the themes the text styles and so many other things are there you know that bundled with the third-party applications so the first thing I'm going to uh, show you today is Outlook mail app which of course from Microsoft the fun part is like I always felt that Microsoft makes really beautiful iOS applications then for its own operating systems like even when uh, Microsoft had their Windows phone uh, for sales at stores then their applications were not that really you know UI rich or design friendly uh, for the users uh, but when it comes to the outlook it offers excellent options the very minimal design and reading uh, the emails and you know overall when iPhone 10 came out I was so happy to see that outlook was super fast in rolling out the face ID integration feature so that I was able to lock the mail application for privacy reasons and nowadays you know you get this face ID integration with most of the third-party applications so you can lock the mail app completely and you can change the appearance um, based on the system preferences dark or light they do provide update nowadays but a little bit slower I believe and they offer storage accounts integration which will be very handy when you're composing an email and you want to attach some uh, you know files from your Google Drive or third-party storage drives like Dropbox OneBox etc you can choose from where the links the third-party links should open if you have multiple browsers installed you can choose that it is a decent performing email client it does offer series shortcuts and the calendar option which you can integrate it with your default iOS calendar and so many other options there you can quickly search your emails and in the composing window as you can see well spaced and at the bottom you can see the attachment feature for your photos and if you want to get more text format options you simply have to tap the last a the symbol so here you can see uh, that you can format your email text this, the content of the email uh, pretty much with most of the standard text format uh, utilities and for each emails you get the left and right swipe option to archive or to get more actions to perform on that particular email to delete it to archive it and when you tap and hold you will be able to quickly select each and every email and uh, you can perform multiple actions right from the bottom of this screen the next one is Gmail it is of course free just like uh, Outlook from Microsoft application it is free it's from Google and if you like the Gmail the Google native interface the material design and everything then you can straight away go for this app you can manage multiple accounts it is easy to operate you know when it comes to managing multiple gmail accounts in your iphone with this gmail app the only setback i feel is that they are not frequently pushing updates to match with the ios the iphone ipad features so for example the dark mode is not still here the system wide it is enabled but the gmail app hasn't picked it up yet and there is no option to control it manually even compose window is pretty much same and when you try to compose an email you get a very limited set of options only the prediction is on and from the top you can see that you can add attachments so as i said the interface looks very minimal and if you are a fan of gmail application when you are using android or you want the same experience then gmail app is here for you and next one is edison mail in short form as you can see they have named it as email edison mail that is 
quite interesting. The interface similar to the Outlook, as you can see, the left and right swiping brings you the snooze option and the archive option. And the settings page looks pretty clean and the interface also looks clean. As you can see, there is a collapse, which I believe will be fixed in uh, the upcoming Edison app update. You can also request feature directly from this page. And while accessing settings, you will see all the controls that this application offers. The focused inbox is there where you can uh, configure uh, your primary emails like the com emails that other than the newsletters and bulk emails will be available in the focused inbox and it will be easy to uh, keep it organized. So that is one of one interesting feature that most of the third party email service providers offer today. It does offer face ID lock for your entire email application. You can change the signature. You can uh, manually control the undo time window. If you have accidentally sent and you want to you know, call back, you can control that. And uh, the next important thing I need to highlight is the manage privacy option. Um, it collects certain amount of data and uh, of course this app is being free you know I was a bit afraid that they may collect the data and sell it but they clearly mentioned it that you can always opt out anytime that you don't want to you know participate in this program it is mainly for uh, improving their application so they have explained it and still they given an option to delete the stored data and to opt out of data sharing one more important thing is uh, the assistant feature that you can see the circle the blue color circle when you tap on it you will see the well categorized section where it displays all the favorites based on several categories like you can keep the bills and receipts organized the travel uh, related you know emails that can be categorized here and it automatically manages all of that along with that your calendar events can be seen here all at one place put together making uh, this assistant page very useful one to browse through uh, you know in a week you can see like how the entire week's performance or the upcoming week's performance is going to be so all these things can be uh, gathered and displayed here and there is one motivational quote that looks interesting in this particular page you can choose which section to be enabled and which section to be disabled the newsletter subscription section is quite valuable because sometimes we are emailed you know without our permission get some random newsletters and uh, it is important to control them uh, easily and they do have an option uh, for one tap unsubscription feature but I'm not sure how to activate it and other than that when you tap and hold you will see all the controls to select multiple emails and you you can decide the actions from the you know bottom like if you want to delete it archive it or you want to put it in separate favorites folder apart from that the right to left swipe will archive your email and for snoozing you need to uh, swipe from left to right and the compost window that is important area where you will see the favorites the recent emails that you have sent you know based on that it will be uh, displayed here and you can quickly pick up one from that particular list and you can start writing your email here you can see the text formatting options right above the predictive uh, you know the tab you can see the option to enter image from your photos app and then you can uh, choose the gif from here this is quite an interesting feature i believe which i haven't seen in any other application you can integrate uh, gifs right from this section and that will be included in your email so to make the conversation a little bit funny and uh, you know when you are sending an email to your friends or family members this will make quite interesting conversation and the next one is spark mail app this is right now my uh, primary email application you can use multiple emails you can uh, tie all all of them inside this application and you will be able to access one unified central inbox you know to manage everything just like other application you can swipe from the right to left to perform multiple actions see when i do a long swipe when it shows me delete option when it is just a quarter portion of that particular screen it, it shows an option to pin it and when i want to make it as unread if the mail has been read already i can just quickly swipe from left to right to do that and to archive it i can do it you know pulling the email to half of the screen so this is quite a useful feature and uh, you know it offers so many handy functions quickly accessible and uh, it's definitely Definitely, you know, stays as one of the best productive uh, application when it comes to, you know, iPhone and iPads. And another important thing is it is also available for Mac computer, absolutely free app. And recently we have published a video uh, to help you hide and, uh, you know, password protect your files, photos, documents, any sensitive documents or videos with, with using your iPhone storage with the help of documents application. It is from Redl and the same developer uh, have this application called Spark Mail app. So if you are, you know, fan of documents app or you haven't tried it already do try that they have bunch of applications that are free and you know 
stays top notch when it comes to productivity and must have on your iPhone or iPad. And the Spark Mail app, you know, the Compose window looks very minimal, just like the default stock mail application with extra features, of course. You can quickly customize uh, your signature right in front of the composing window. And here, when you try to compose, you will see the attachment option, text formatting, the timer options, and you can schedule the email uh, right from this particular section where the predictive text appears. And you can add multiple contacts. You know, you can do plenty of things. You can change the source email address right from this window. There are plenty of options that makes Spark email app a very compelling one to try, you know, compared to any other application that we have seen today. And the next application is Airmail. This is a paid application and it comes at around $10 uh, per year. It is a subscription, of course. It does offer so many other extra features like Apple Pencil support, uh, pre-made templates and, you know, the Mac, iPhone and iPad. Uh, one purchase for you to use the Airmail Pro on uh, multiple devices uh, compatible to the Mac application as well. You can read the feature highlights, you know, before uh, deciding to purchase whether uh, it will be worth for the $10 per year uh, or not. They do offer monthly subscription which i find it not that useful compared to the uh, yearly subscription plan just like other applications it offers all the functions but the reading experience is quite different in this airmail pro some people may like it you know compared to the other application you can see that you can swipe from the uh, right to left for deleting this email from uh, left to right for snooze or for archive and when you tap and hold you will see the options to select multiple emails and there you can see the options kind of overlapped with the get airmail pro button and you can delete it you can archive it and you can uh, decide the actions also by pressing the three buttons on the top right corner so this is how it is done uh, with the airmail pro it is a paid app of course for free trial they do offer 30 days free trial and if you want more features and you want to uh, try all of their options then you can consider upgrading to the pro version the next one is canary it is one of my favorite application when it comes to paid email client uh, the cost of this app is 20 dollars it is a one-time fee that is the beautiful thing you don't have to pay again and again as you can see the 30 days trial is activated with my iphone and uh, here you can see the canary pro for ios brings you the version 3 and the full set of features for simple one-time fee so here the list of features have been you know well laid out you can pin emails you can compose suggestions you can change the notification sounds there are plenty of options you know kept right in front of the settings page it is entirely different you know compared to any other application that we have seen today i like this application for its design aspects itself you know compared to other applications the price of this application is 20 dollars it is a one-time fee uh, i just like to remind you once again and the interface Face is beautiful it is very simple and minimal you can tap and hold just to see the quick preview of the email in other email apps you have to tap and hold for selecting emails either one or multiple emails here you have to press the edit button and then you can select emails so it's kind of an extra workaround and the compost window gives us the favorites here based on the recently sent emails and you can type the subject and when you go to the messages that is one interesting feature I like to show you the lock button the photo scan option just like your default stock mail application and here you can see a whiteboard kind of setup it is of course a blackboard in this dark uh, mode turned on and i am selecting the finger option and i can scribble something and click on save and that will be added to uh, the attachment of this particular email as a photograph so after writing the email i can do some signature and i can send it on um, so this is kind of an interesting feature you know which i find it useful uh, integrated right inside the compose window and other attachment files option is also here uh, you can choose based on your choice and the final application i like to show you is newton it is one of the famous application but i'm very disappointed to see that they have not provided you know enough recent updates and bug fixes uh, to make this app really useful as you can see the interface is beautiful it is minimal and it has certain unique design quality and the ui experience you know compared to any other application composing window is located right here in the convenience space and uh, the interface again you know i really love this interface when it launched in beta i was able to uh, join as their uh, beta tester and the email experience was really wonderful after that i it's been long time since i tried this application and uh, you know just for this video i installed it and uh, very disappointed to find that they haven't enabled the dark mode and there is no option to enable it 
inside the settings also and they have 14 days free trial subscription enabled for my account i was seeing some errors on the screen there is no option you know better options to manage my subscriptions right in this page of course i can do it from my itunes account which they have also provided instructions for and you can add you know control the existing gmail settings another thing is you can add new accounts the ui is something different you know uh, it makes it uh, stand out from other applications so that is all for today and i hope you have enjoyed this list of email clients video if you find it useful don't forget to share it with your friends they may able to you know try some of these mail applications you know the email clients and uh, boost their productivity as well so feel free to share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tips and tutorials and app suggestions related to iphone ipad and mac computer thanks for watching have a wonderful day